have a strong personal sense of mission. And I think that's why my life is intertwined so closely with these two people who are seated, seated next to me. Uh, Fran Stewart is a Cleveland area freelance writer, editor, and page designer. She has spent more than 15 years working for newspapers, including The Plain Dealer, where she was my maternity leave replacement. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we became friends when I was the editor of the Every Woman section. Uh, much of Fran's writing today is in the areas of economic development, public policy, and urban issues. She has worked on projects for Cleveland State University's Levin College of Urban Affairs, Policy Bridge, the Ohio Department of Development, the Ohio Department of Transportation, Cleveland Leadership Center, North Carolina A&T State University, and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. She has produced several books and programs for local nonprofit groups, such as the Association for Continuing Education, Women's Reentry Network, and the Urban Journalism Workshop. She created a magazine promoting college for Ohio high school students. She lives in Solon with her husband, David Mook, and their two sons, Elliot and Ethan. Uh, her first book is In Their Path, which she wrote with Mrs. Southgate. Fran is also one of my closest friends. We're both idealists who believe fervently that if we just choose our topics carefully and write to illuminate the nation's social problems, we just might change the world. We have not succeeded yet. <laughs> I often think we're like Lucy and Ethel, only a much more bo boring journalistic version. <laughs> often rushing to bail each other out on deadline uh, by sharing ideas and editing suggestions. Mrs. Joan Southgate retired in 1988 from a career as a foster care worker, pediatric ward medical social worker, and adoption case worker. A mother of four and grandmother of nine, she lives in Cleveland's Glenville area. For most people, that's the extent of the life story, your career, your home, but not Mrs. Joan Southgate. After that first social worker phase of her life, she entered the next chapter. She did not know she was a writer until she stumbled excitedly into the expository writing 101 class, which she took at age 62 at Cleveland State. She was taking this, this class through something called Project 60, a program for senior citizens at Cleveland State. She won first place in an Arabica Coffeehouse Poetry Slam with a long prose piece. 30 pages of her memoir, which is titled About Time, won her the 1996 Francis Shaw Fellowship from the Ragdale Foundation. Suddenly, she was a respected writer. And then came the next phase. In 2001, I received a letter, really a proposal from her, which she titled, In Their Path, Finding the Ancestors' Courage. I'd like to start the program in the Q&A phase now by reading from her original letter to me, um, framing her idea for the Underground Railroad. <laughs> 